Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, and this isn't going to be like a how-to video or anything yet. Um, I just wanted to do like kind of a big haul of things that I've gotten over the past month. Oh my gosh, crooked, sorry. Um, over the past month, and I just wanted to show you guys what I've gotten, and if you guys have any questions about it, because I just barely have gotten them, and I'm going to start using them, and probably doing tutorials with them. So yeah, here we go. Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but I just wanted to make this kind of, hopefully it's going to be short, video of a bunch of things that I've gotten over the past month that I just wanted to show you guys. Um, and I'm going to be using these products um, for a while and probably make a couple tutorials. And so I just wanted to show you. I got a couple things from drugstores, um, Walmart, Target, and Sephora. So the first two things I want to show you are these. They are body butters. I just barely got this one today. This one is coconut. It's from the body shop. I've never been to the body shop, but they have one I know in Lim oh, let me say. Um, La Jolla, and they have one in downtown Horton Plaza. This is what it looks like. I've been using it for the past couple days. I don't, the only downfall to this product that I can say so far, the mini review, um, is I do not like the smell of this one. I thought I would, but it's not coconut -y enough, I guess. It's kind of like a light coconut smell. Um, I just don't don't like it. I have not opened this one yet. This is the Summer Body Butter or Sat Satsuma, Satsuma I think Body Butter. I guess that's what it says right here. Oh, oops, just covered it up for you guys. And it's a body butter from the Body Shop. Also, I got. See, I haven't even opened it. Um, but I tried it already, and I really actually love how this smells. I, I love citrus smells. Um, it was smelled very clean, and it felt really good on my hands when I tried it. Um, so, yeah. These were both $5 from Sephora. I love going to the little area. There's, like, I don't know if it's in all Sephora's, but in the little Sephora that we have in the JCPenney. Yeah. Um, they have little areas where they have small, like, stuff like this. You know, it's not the full size, but it's almost that. And they have like other little products. Um, I love going to that area and buying something from there because it's small enough that you get enough use out of it. And also it's like, I mean big enough. And it's small enough that you can try it out and see if you actually like it. So I suggest if you're going to go to Sephora and you see that little area, try something, buy something. This is $5. See if you like it. And if you do like it, spend the extra money to go buy that. Okay, okay so the next things I've gotten are these from Walmart. Um, I just got what I'm wearing actually today. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like that gray color that goes to a point. Um, it's, sorry, I already dropped it. I just barely got it. It's the uh, color tattoo by iStudio Maybelline. And I got it in toughest taupe because I heard 35, I guess 35 toughest taupe. I heard good things about it. When I see it, I don't know if you guys can see, it's really kind of light looking, but when you put it on, it's a really like kind of gray, like it's darker. The only thing is, um, it's weird kind of to put on a brush. It's more like a cream, I guess. So you put apply it with your fingers, but that doesn't really bother me. I mean, like, I haven't applied it with anything else, but I used my fingers. Well, I tried it with a brush. I didn't like it that much. Um, it's, sorry, my dog's doing something in there. Um, but, sorry I'm saying um so many times. I like this a lot, actually. So, I don't know if it's lasted. Actually, I, it does feel pretty dry on my lid. It had, didn't come off at all. You can see. I just barely touched it. Um, I haven't tested this out to see if it lasts 24 hours. I don't know if you'd want makeup to last that long. I might do a test where I put it like up here while I sleep to see if it actually stays while I sleep. Um, if you guys would like me to do a video about that, maybe I will. Um, but yeah, I do like this product and I'll probably be trying to use it a lot more. Next, something I absolutely love. It's I've heard both of these type... Oops, sorry. Um, both of these I've heard on YouTube a lot. Um, they're both 24 hours, but these are the 24 hour infallible eyeshadow in bronze taupe 890. Comes like this. It reminds me of the Urban Decay packaging, but this is more plastic. I guess well, they're both plastic. Never mind. <laughs> but this one, this one's like a glass container. That's why when I dropped it, it broke a little bit, but it didn't break the like opening or anything. Um, but this, I do like the packaging. It reminds me of Urban Decay. It has this little stopper. And it looks like that. Oh, I should have did a swatch. Well, maybe, yeah, a little swatch. It looks like that. 
it's such a beautiful color. It's such a nice bronzy color, but it has silver tone, so that's what I think what they meant by the taupe. Let me show you the little swatch of this. It's really a really nice like matte colored gray. They did have a lot more vibrant colors, and I really wanted to try them, but I only had enough for like one. Do you see it? It's on top. This is the um, toughest taupe, and this is bronze taupe. Really like these products so far. I'll probably be using them more, and once I find a really good look, I'll probably do a tutorial for each of these. If you guys want, let me know. Also, I got these two mascaras. I got them within a few days because when I first got this one, I didn't like it, and then I tried this one. I really loved it. I do like this one now, actually. Didn't use it today, but looks like this. It looks like the stiletto kind of thing but what you don't see I don't know if you can see it I don't think you can see it but maybe you can see it on this there's little fibers in the product that actually attach themselves onto your lashes and make your lashes kind of a little lengthier it's not anything like false lashes but it does give a little length and I do not use usually what are those things called the little torture devices for your eyelashes um eyelash curlers I, I have one I haven't really used one in a long time but it might make even better with that. I haven't tried it yet. I think I'll tr probably try it within the next couple days to see how I like it. And then I got this. It's the Stiletto um, Voluptuous Lash thing. And I don't know if you guys can see, but it's slightly curved. There we go. It's like curved and twisted. And that's what I used on my lashes today. Sorry, that looks funny, kind of funny. Um, but I really like this so far. Yeah, I'll probably do more reviews. Probably about stuff short. This I'm trying to make this short. Let's just say that. Um, and yeah, that's the products I got from Walmart. Okay, one thing before I do the other products. I today went through all of my makeup and I had these containers. Well, I bought one today actually and I had another one that my grandma bought me for Christmas because my room, if you guys know me, if you've been in my house, um, my room, I guess, it's very disorganized right now, um, especially since Joey just moved in. But, let, let me think. Um, I went through all my makeup and threw away things I didn't want or things that were dirty and gross or old. And um, I organized, and I think it's kind of important. So some of my makeup now is in this little container. It's very small. I think you can get these at Walmart. I do not know how much these cost. My other thing oops, is, oh my gosh, this. It's kind of big, but if you can see that, it has like a bunch of products in there. Um, there's a whole bunch of, it's like a little cubby holes. And this was actually, I think, for a computer desk. And, um... But it does see like I section off apart from my, um, I don't want to tilt this too much. My brushes, lipsticks, and liners, um, more sh extra shadows that couldn't fit. Another like see-through lipsticks, uh, a little spray mister thing, eyeliners. But yeah, it has a whole bunch of like tiny little areas that you can just stick things in, and I like it. And I think it's kind of important as I've gotten older. Oops, and realized. Oops, as I've gotten older, I've kind of realized, you know. A more organization is better especially living with somebody else um, organization is kind of key even if you live alone it's like I used to have a tub I don't know if you guys ever saw I don't think so it was an old Frederick's tub of um, that you would put your like bras or whatever in it was like a promotion and I threw all my makeup in there because I didn't have anywhere else to do it and it was so messy so gross I cleaned everything off well that's kind of unsanitary but um yeah and this works a lot better now that I did this but I suggest if you do that so on to the next products. 